Hey guys, e 2 here, and welcome back to another Thief 17 trading video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a really, really effective way of making coins, which you may not have already heard of, and that's actually an investing trading method to do with the score builder challenges, and in particular, the marquee matchups. Now, if you don't know what the marquee matchup score builder challenge is, it comes out every single weekend, and uh, basically, it is for a derby or a big game in football all over the world. It doesn't have to be in any of the major leagues often it is in some of the really small leagues with players you've never really kind of heard of before and teams you've never really heard of before but it's some big derbies and uh, they pick generally four different games and then they will have a score builder challenge for each of them and you have to complete all four and that will get you something like uh, maybe a 25k pack maybe a foot draft pack something like that and uh, normally they have a mix of teams so they've got some of the bigger teams and often there's going to be some really small teams as well as I said with a lot of players that you may not have heard of a lot of bronze players and uh, often not many players for some of these clubs so it does offer a really good way of investing and making some coins now what you are going to want to do is actually find out about some of the upcoming games and invest ready for those different score builder challenges and marquee matchups that could come out now, in this video here, I'm going to be showing you guys some different potential players we could be seeing going up in price for the one that's going to be happening this weekend. So I'm actually recording this right now on a Thursday. Uh, obviously, you may not be watching this on a Thursday. You may be watching it in maybe a couple of weeks or so, but all you want to do then is just go and look on maybe BBC Sport. Look on a website, just some upcoming derbies in football, uh, and uh, you will be able to hopefully invest for some of these. And you want to look for kind of the standout ones, the biggest games, so maybe a really, really big derby between two teams in the same city, or maybe a team between the two, uh, maybe a derby between the two best teams in the particular league. So you want to kind of look out for those type of things there. Now for this week, we've got a couple of different examples. The first one is Olympiakos against Panathinaikos. Now if we go over here and go to the Hellas Liga, which is the uh, league from Greece right here. Uh, here we go, the Hellas Liga. Now Panathinaikos and uh, Olympiakos are the two biggest teams in the history of Greek football. And uh, players from those teams right there are going to be going up a lot in price. Now if we look right now, they do have a couple of gold cards on the market. And what we want to do is just find the lowest by now. Now, you want to then invest in a couple of these cards because once that score builder challenge comes out, we should be able to sell them on and make some good profits. So we've got a Fortunus right here. I'm just going to send him to my club and then I can sell him on once this score builder challenge does come out. We've got Marco Marin as well. I'll pick him up and just send him over. You just want to pretty much find the minimum by now these cards are selling for and then just pick a few of them up and send them to your club or your transfer list and just uh, keep them there. And you should then be able to uh, to sell them on once the actual challenge comes out. So we have an El Yanusi right here. I'll pick him up. We have a Figueras. I'll just send him to the transfer list as well. We actually already picked him up. But um, we do have a El Yanusi right here. Sent him to my club. And uh, you can see there are loads of cards there that you can actually pick up. And you just kind of want to pick up players, especially for some of these more obscure teams. Uh, you want to kind of focus on more kind of obscure positions where there aren't many players in those positions maybe there's just one particular card now normally you're going to need probably two players from each of these teams to complete the score builder challenge uh, sometimes it is more sometimes you may need for example a full team and in some of these cases there you're going to need a particular player maybe in a certain position so if you look right here there's actually only one right winger who plays for Olympiacos and that is Pardo now that means he is a really good player to invest in so there we go 1.1k I could actually pick him up for and if I send him over to my transfer list or my club, I'll be able to sell him one in the future and make some pretty good coins. So that's a few players invested in now from Olympiakos. So now let's go and check out Panathinaikos, see if we can get some cards from them as well. So here we go, Panathinaikos. And this is a really, really big derby in the Greek League, uh, a massive game. And it does mean that these cards are going to be selling for quite a lot. And uh, we actually only have two gold players, and that is a Barbo. And also, actually, we've got two. We've got three players. We actually have an English player right there, which I uh, didn't really think was a, an English player playing in the Greek league. But there you go. A thousand coins is the lowest by now. We'll pick up a Victor Obarbo as one of my investments. And uh, let's go and get a goalkeeper as well. Let's get this guy right here, Steele. Um, the English goalkeeper right there pick him up and I'll send both of these guys to my club So these cards will rise up in price You just want to keep an eye on the score builder challenges when they come out now I'm not saying that all of the ones that I mentioned in this video are going to be coming out But uh, these are some of the biggest games right now uh, That are going to be coming out in the next kind of week or so There's some of the biggest games coming up in this week So they're very likely to be added in but uh, some of these could miss out they could add a different one in but uh, there are going to be a few of these that are definitely going to be in. And one of them is going to be Spurs against Arsenal. Now, obviously, a huge game, the North London derby, which, uh, yeah, if you if you are a, are a Premier League fan, if you, uh, if you are English, you'll probably all know about this. 
and uh, that is actually a really good deal. We're just just looking first search. We've got a Willock, who's actually the cheapest Arsenal player on the market, and uh, that is pretty cool. Now, for some of these bigger teams right here, generally you're going to want to get gold cards because sometimes they may say uh, it is a gold only challenge. Not always, but that could sometimes be the case. Now, the cheapest gold card right now is Oxlade Chamberlain. You could try and snipe these cards if you wanted, uh, or you can just uh, buy them right off the market. It just kind of depends what you want to do. And I think I'm going to pick up an Oxlade Chamberlain. Uh, should hopefully be a decent investment. So there we go. I'll just buy that card there. Send him to my club. And it's going to be a decent investment right there. And let's go and check out maybe some Spurs players as well. I'm not going to be buying players from all of these different teams. Uh, because uh, I don't have the most of coins right now. But if we go and check out Spurs. And see what Spurs players are selling for. We've got the likes of Nkudu. We've got Son. We've got Lamella. Loads of different cards you could potentially pick up here. So let's just try and get quite a cheap card maybe. Because once this Squad Builder Challenge comes out, these cards go up so much in price. So even if you're getting these cards, maybe just a, a random non-rare bronze play. Even if you're getting them for like four or 500 coins, their price is still going to rise up a lot. Because loads of people want to complete these Squad Builder Challenges. And the prices go up so much. So we actually find... Where's the cheapest price here? Just for, just for a gold card, I just want to pick up one gold card. I'd recommend not putting all your eggs in one basket with these challenges here. Because you never know, uh, maybe they might not do one for a particular different uh, uh, like derby or game like that. So you want to normally kind of just focus on getting maybe five players from each of these teams. And here we go, we've kind of found whereabouts the, these players are selling for, like the prices they're selling for. So we can get a few of them, or we'll just get one really. I'll just get a Dyer right here. And I'll send him to the club. You want to try and get like goalkeepers or maybe a striker players that you have in every formation because sometimes they might do like a three at the back formation for the squad build challenge, which might mean that you couldn't use someone like Trippier. They might do one that doesn't have wingers, which means you couldn't use someone like Nkudu. So Vaughan would actually be a really good investment if we pick him up or we'll send him to the club as well. So there we go. We've invested in some players from the Olympiacos versus Panathinaikos game, as well as the North London derby. Now, we also have San Lorenzo against Hurricane. Now, EA often do this for some of the smaller leagues and the less popular leagues on FIFA. So the Primera Division there in Argentina. Obviously, hardly anyone uses players from this league. However... Once these cards uh, do kind of uh, come into use, really, because of this scoreboard challenge, their prices will go up. Now, right now, I, I can actually get both of these cards here, and uh, that is going to be some really good profit. If this scoreboard challenge comes out, I'm getting them for a thousand coins. They could easily rise up to probably around about a seven to eight k. Now, that happened uh, a couple of weeks ago. There was another one again with a really obscure league. It was the Swedish league, I think, and the cards for that went up a lot in price. They went up to around 7,000 coins. It's some non-rare bronze players. So, yeah, you just want to kind of keep an eye. With these bronze players, I wouldn't recommend going out and spending like 10k on non-rare bronzes. Because if it doesn't come out, you're going to be losing out. But uh, San Lorenzo against Hurricane is a game where we could have definitely see a score a challenge for that. So, I'm just going to go and uh, pick up that card right there. Because I should be able to make some really, really good profit right there. I mean, I could easily make 4 or 5k on that card. Which is very, very good. Now, we also have San Lorenzo. Uh, as the other team we've seen in that derby. They've got a few gold players as well, so we we can just kind of find the minimum by now right here. And as you can see, there are actually gold cards going for a really cheap price, and uh, I will be able to pick these cards up. And uh, since they're going so cheaply, I mean, that's actually so good. It's so easy to pick these cards up, because I can just get them for like four or 500 coins, and they could easily go up. Uh, if this squad build challenge does come out, they'll easily go up to probably around about, um, I'd say maybe 5k, could be a little bit less, could be a little bit more. But again, I'm focusing not only on kind of like fullbacks and stuff because it may be a formation that doesn't have them. So I'm going to go more for kind of uh, these attacking players that you do have in most formations. A centre-back right here, that is a good investment to pick up. So we'll get a couple of them and I will send them to my club as well. So we've got quite a few investments already. And we also have a few more games. We've got Porto against Benfica coming up on the weekend. So a really big game there in uh, the uh, Liga Nos in the Portuguese league. Huge game in Portugal, uh, one of the biggest games of the season and uh, yeah, between two of the biggest teams in uh, Portugal. So Porto right here, let's find out what some Porto cards are going for, see if we can maybe get some of them. And uh, with this being a really big derby in one of the bigger leagues in Europe, could definitely see this also being a score builder challenge. So uh, again, you're gonna want to focus on positions where you're likely to need cards. So for example, the goalkeeper position, maybe a striker as well. So let's just check on the market, find the cheapest striker, uh, what that is selling for. Who is the cheapest striker? I think it might be De Poitre. 
yeah, here's actually the Puerto. Also, Adrian. And if we check out goalkeepers, I have actually already invested in a few players. I have already managed to pick up, pick up a Casillas earlier on uh, for this. And uh, it is definitely a great way of making coins. It's something I would definitely recommend you guys trying out. Um, but here we go. If we look up uh, the cheapest striker, let's just try and get one as cheaply as we can. I think I'll go with uh, De Poit right here. It doesn't really matter. Actually, I don't have the coin to get De Poit, so I will go and pick him up later. But uh, there you go. Porto player could definitely be a good one to invest in. And also, obviously, Benfica, as I said, is uh, another really big team that uh, is going to probably be included in the squad builder challenge now. I say probably because there's a slight chance they couldn't. But with this being one of the biggest games... Uh, at the weekend in a really big league. I could definitely see this being a score builder challenge that we could see now. If we look for strikers, let's just try and get a really cheap striker. And uh, we can actually get Jimenez right here for just 750 coins, which is not too bad. So I'll send him to my club as well. And if this score builder challenge does come out, that's going to be some really, really nice profit I can make by selling him on. And uh, again, that's just looking kind of a more obscure position. But as you see on the market right now, there are loads and loads of cards you could go and pick up. And towards the 59th minute, there are a lot of rare cards, and their prices will easily go up a lot. And these are just discard price gold players. I mean, if you get someone like Semedo right here, someone like Cesar, their prices are going to go up a lot once this Squad Builder Challenge does come out, and you're going to be able to make yourself a ton of coins. So uh, really, really good kind of tip right there. Invest in some of these uh, discard price, cheaper kind of rare gold players, and you're going to be making a ton of coins. And the final big game is going to be Sydney FC against Melbourne Victory. Now, this isn't as big as some of these other games. And it's probably kind of my last pick out of all the ones that could potentially come out uh, to to come out out of the ones I'm going to be showing you. But it is still a big game. It is between two of the most successful teams in the uh, in the Hyundai A League in Australia. So it's Sydney FC and Melbourne Victory. So if we look at Melbourne Victory players, see what they're selling for. As you can see right now, around about 1.3k, 1k is actually the lowest by now. So you can go, you could go and get some of these guys. And if you look on the market, I mean they don't even have any gold players. You're just looking at silver cards, which are already going for a lot because of this score builder challenge. People are kind of thinking this could potentially come out, so already investing. So that is a good tip, by the way, guys, as well. You don't want to just focus on the next week. You can look quite a way into the future. Maybe if you see like in a month or so, there's a big game coming up, pick up some cards. Maybe if you see the Manchester Derby is coming up in like um, two, three weeks. It isn't, but uh, let's say it is then you could just go and pick up some really cheap Man City and Man United players, because especially Man City players, they will go up a lot in price. Uh, but uh, yeah, as you can see, lots of players you could invest in right here from um, Melbourne Victory. This is probably the one that I'd recommend the least out of the ones I have shown you. I definitely recommend going and getting some uh, players from San Lorenzo and Huracan if you can, and also getting quite a few from Benfica and a few cheap ones from Arsenal. Now, uh, you can see here, Sydney FC, got a lot of kind of cheap players you could pick up. I mean, if we look for the lowest by nows of some of these cards, uh, 600 coins right there. I mean, look how cheap some of these cards are. You could easily pick up some of these cards and uh, make yourself some pretty easy coins. I mean, it is a really, really easy sniping filter. Uh, well, not a sniping filter, rather. It's a, just a really good trading method. As you see here, 200 coins, I can get some of these cards. And uh, that is just some really, really easy kind of trading right here. We've actually got a centre-back. And uh, the centre-backs generally for this team sell for more than the strikers because there are loads of strikers who actually play for Sydney FC and not too many defenders. So actually managing to get one of them is pretty good because his price could easily rise to like 6 or 7k once this scoreboard challenge does come out. So he's one I'm going to be sending to my club. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. I really hope it has helped you out. Now, uh, for those of you who still don't potentially get kind of what I'm talking about with this method, I'm not just talking about going and buying these players right now. So say you're watching this video in two weeks, don't go and buy Sydney FC players and things like that. I'm talking about a game or rather a couple of games coming up in a few days now. When you're watching this in the future, there will be different games, there will be different derbies and there will be a different marquee matchups coming out. So you just want to check on maybe BBC Sport, uh, OneFootball, any kind of app or website like that. Just look up some derbies coming up in the future and invest in some cards for them. So look up for really big games between some of the biggest teams in their respective leagues. So for example, in this case here, Porto versus Benfica. Or look up for some local derbies, some really, really big games as well. Uh, for example, maybe Sydney FC versus Melbourne Victory in this case. Maybe Melbourne Victory against Melbourne City, so that's a local derby. Or a really big game in the Premier League, like Chelsea against Man United. Maybe Spurs against Arsenal in this case. Anything like that, you just want to keep an eye on them. 
Go and invest maybe between 5 and 10 cards for each of these teams. Look in key positions as well, so if they only have one particular player in a certain position, maybe get that card. And also try and avoid getting left and right backs normally or picking up too many of them. You can go and get a couple of left and right backs, a couple of wingers, but generally... I'd focus on centre mids, goalkeepers, strikers, players you have in every formation because if it does come out and uh, if the formation for the particular squad bit of challenge is something like 4 1 2 1 2 second variation that doesn't have wingers, then obviously the wingers aren't going to sell for as much. And the same with fullbacks if it's a 3 at the back formation. So just keep an eye on that. But go and invest in a few cards from all the teams I have shown you in this video right here if you're watching any time before the weekend. Uh, so this is kind of the beginning of November. Uh, obviously, if you're watching this later on than that, I would recommend. Just looking for other derbies, looking for other players to invest in, and hopefully you can make some really good profit. This is one of the best trading methods on the game because you can easily make so much coins. You can get a card for 200 coins that uh, in a week or so will go for five or 6,000 coins, and uh, sometimes anything up to about 10k. It really is that easy. It's a method I definitely recommend you guys trying out. So if you guys have enjoyed, drop a like if you did, subscribe if you are new around here, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.